11 months ago, I made a video against Dave Ramsey showing that he's a liar on the housing market thing. Said the prices aren't going to come down. They're not going to come down. Everything's fine with the economy, essentially. Um, no, they are coming down. You can look at all the current statistics and everything else. There's a lot of price drops. The market is coming down quite substantially. There's a lot of the hotter markets are seeing houses dropping 20, 30 percent, and it hasn't even gotten that bad yet. So just a ridiculous thing there. I mean, he's saying he's prophesying something about the future, saying the housing market will not come down. Prices are just going to keep going up. He lied. Um, you can watch that video if you want to. But recently I saw this video here um, on SD Bullion's channel, and I could not believe what this guy says. And this guy professes to be a saved Christian. All right. Um, there are a few things that you can just kind of say, okay, we can... You know, we can agree to disagree there as Christians. We don't have to, I'm not going to go after somebody if they want to wear a suit and tie or something like that. Or, you know, some other small things, whatever. I don't care. Um, but when you have the basic thing in Scripture, that gold has very high worth in Scripture. And to hear what this man says, and he's attacked gold over and over again. Um, you can't have the Holy Spirit within you and attack gold on this level. It doesn't make any sense to me. All right, listen to what he says here, and um, I'll make some other comments. Income it creates. Not based on, oh, it's real estate. Woo! You know, it's not, oh, it's a golden rock. Woo! Okay, so the golden rock has no magical qualities. It's a rock. It's a golden rock. Saying gold is... Okay, and then he, the guy from SD Billion gives some comments. It's, it's a golden rock. That's all, just a golden rock. Oh, really? Um, then why is it that way back in Genesis chapter 13, verse 2, um, Abram was very rich in cattle and silver and in gold, precious metals. And you go through all through the Bible, 361 references in the King James Bible to gold having value. A um, little strange there and kind of weird too because... Uh, you know, if you look at the videos and things, can't, you can see right there and right there. I won't bother playing it again, but he has gold rings on. Um, see, he's into scamming people. The modern banking system with the fiat currency, the fa fractional reserve banking, I keep talking about this because it's so important. These people rob you of your money. They get you to invest in things that eventually crash. You know, another video I saw with him about the gold thing, and he's talking about the dollar, and the dollar is so important. And then he turns right around and he talks about dollars, you know, currencies that are useless and they're not worth anything anymore. Uh, gold is never worth zero. Gold is not a, it's not an investment, okay? It's how to protect your money, how to get your money out of the banking system so that the government can't get their hands on it. It's not cheating the tax system either or whatever else. You have some very wicked people like Dave Ramsey, and they want to make merchandise of you. Take away your money is what they want to do. But I just found out another interesting thing about this lying devil right here. I warned about him back here. called him a lying false prophet. He's lying about, you know, gold. Let me show you one other thing here. Just remember this. One of the references to gold, which I think is very interesting. 1 Corinthians chapter 3. Um... For other foundation can no man lay than that is laid that which is Christ Jesus. Now if any man build upon this foundation gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, stubble, um, and it goes down and through there, it's speaking about the judgment seat of Christ, um, God actually gives gold to his saints for doing you know, good things. And we, of course we know about the city with streets of gold, heaven, New Jerusalem. But apparently it's just a golden rock that David uh, Ramsey's not interested in. <laughs> okay. I don't think he's going to be going to heaven there. Um, plenty of issues with this guy. But I just find it interesting. Oh, he's he's a good financial guy and whatever else. And all you can trust Dave Ramsey's advice. Um, the course, just came out one day ago. The Morals, along with 15 others, are suing Dave Ramsey and his company, the Lambeau Group, known now known as Ramsey Solutions, asking for $150 million 
uh, dollars over accusations of negligent misrepresentation, unjust enrichment, and violation of consumer protection laws. And there's being reported by Washington Post and all these other different things here. Huh. So it turned out that he's actually a con artist. Hmm. <laughs> um, the fact of the matter is the Bible is the standard. The King James Bible is the standard for the English-speaking world. And if you get some guy that's coming out and attacking something that's just so simple in Scripture, I'd get away from him very quickly. Tells you not to invest in gold, not to have gold. Gold's just a yellow rock. Whatever. It doesn't matter. He's a con artist. He's a liar. And he just got busted. Praise the Lord. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, good to hear that he's not going to hurt any, anybody else. So uh, be very careful who you listen to. I have to say that. As a preacher, I'm going to warn people about false prophets like this. So I thank the Lord that he finally, his sins caught him up, caught up with him. Uh, be sure your sins will find you out, as the old saying goes. Just amazing.